Hi, my name is Michael Bailey, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to configure ProCal using the ProWiz setup utility. We have a number of instruments all connected using the USB interfaces to this laptop. So now going to the computer, we're going to select ProWiz, a list of the detected USB devices will be shown, and the following dialog box. And then it's as simple as following the instructions on the screen. So this first step is entering the settings for the system multi-product calibrator. And in this case, we're going to use a 1000 series calibrator. So clicking the auto set button, it has automatically populated the description of the unit and the serial number and selected auto USB. However, we still need to configure the certificate number. The certificate number in this case can be found on the front of the instrument. Entering the calibration date, once again this can be found on the certificate of calibration or from the sticker on the unit. Clicking next, we will now configure our 8081. It's automatically populated the serial number once again, certificate number, calibration date, and calibration interval. We are now configuring the rest of the options, so for electrical test calibrator, an RCL-LCR bridge, frequency meters, and here we are presented with a form enabling us to enter information for our laboratory. So for example, we could be laboratory number 0123, the laboratory name, which for this case will be test, and we will leave the rest of the information as the default settings. We can also configure our certificate signatories on this screen. Clicking next, we have an option to either use the built-in certificate formats included with ProCal or to select own, our own custom crystal report templates. Options for certificate numbering so we can match up with our existing certificates for example, for a standard traceable calibration, perhaps we are using LT and we're up to number 0123. And accredited, for example, N00145. And ProCal will automatically increment these numbers at the next calibration. We have an option to select the default language that ProCal will be using. And then if any of the in, um, instruments on the system are configured using a GPIB card, we have now options to select a PCI or USB National Instruments cards. ProCal has now finished setting up. So when we run ProCal, we will see the list of instruments that it has detected on the USB interface. And it will continue to start up automatically initializing the multimeter and the 1000 series connected to the computer. Now that we have configured ProCal using the ProWiz software, we will continue and proceed with making a calibration on this multimeter. So calibrate an instrument by serial number, enter an example serial number for this instrument, Enter the manufacturer, the model number, as well as enter the desired calibration interval. ProCal has automatically selected the correct procedure from the manufacturer and the model number we have just entered. It's listing here the traceability information, 
It's showing that we're using the 1000 series we configured earlier. I will select as found readings. A prompt is displayed asking me to connect the multimeter. and select the DC voltage range. And clicking next, the 1000 series is set automatically. And I simply type in the reading from the multimeter. Pressing enter will step Procal on automatically making calibration a simple and quick process.